top story tonight. The city of Washington, Iowa now has its own emergency medical services. Yeah, in the past, the city relied on the county to respond to emergency situations. KWWL's Diego Hernandez tells us how this new service can save lives. The city of Washington has had a desire for an emergency service like this one for years. And for a week and a half now, the voluntary EMS team has responded to a number of calls already, sometimes even arriving before an ambulance. When the ambulance is doing transport or another call, we've been the primary provider of care until the ambulance is able to arrive. Washington is the largest and the last city in the county to get an EMS service. It is a long time coming. I'm not sure why it took so long, but it's here and I think it's here to stay. Based out of the city's fire department, the team is made up of 24 volunteers trained as first responders. Other surrounding um, EMS agencies are the same way. Um, we're here to help. We're here to work together um, and to provide the best care that we can to our citizens. Washington County has an ambulance base in Washington and another about 20 minutes away in Kelowna. But that's it. If all four ambulances are out on a call or transporting a patient to a hospital, a third base would get paged, but that can take time. If someone calls 911, there is a potential gap. Our service and volunteers have stepped up to bridge that gap. Knowing there will always be someone there to respond, residents can now rest easy. I think they're going to feel a lot more safe, a little more calm, knowing that their emergency is going to get answered one way or the other. The Washington EMS is accepting volunteers of all skill levels. You would just need to go through a training before you can go out and respond to emergencies. In Washington, Diego Hernandez, New 7 KWWL. And they certainly have been busy there. The team of volunteers has already responded to 37 calls since they launched on July 9th. Yeah, now if you live in Washington and you'd like to get involved, you can call the fire department. We also have more information on our website under this story. Just go to KWWL.com. <laughs>